What is the most disrespectful thing a guest ever did at your home? When I was a teenager my parents had a dinner party. An infamous guest at the table shat his pants, went to bathroom, and left the soiled underwear by the sink. Went back to the table, and carried on drinking. Edit, since this is getting so much traction. I thought I would add another little story about Mr. Shitty Pants. I was at work with my father, and Mr. Shitty Pants was in the bar drinking. Mr. SP was a bit of a loud mouth and didn't mind telling people he had money. To cut to the chase. He bought my father's car on the spot. My mother picked us up from work. And as we were driving home we saw what was my dad's car parked at the front door of a massive and extremely well known whorehouse. All my father's company branding and stickers still on the car. Later that night my father called Mr. SP asked what the duck his problem was. He could at least park it round the back. Do I owe you anything? No? Well. Mind your own business then. Was the answer before he hung up the phone. Alex. He came to yours too. Yo real talk my BFS name is Alex and has told me stories about shitting his pants at other people's house I need this story. My brother in law didn't feel like watching his sick child during his last stay. Well. Just as expected. His kid diarrhea the all over our wool carpet. He didn't apologize or offer to get it cleaned. After finding out the cost to clean it would be half the cost of its purchase price. I decided to throw the carpet out. The carpet could have been the Bill's Christmas present that year. Too bad I didn't think of that. Swung from my ceiling fan and ripped it out of the ceiling. Like just reached up. Grabbed it. Hung on for dear life until it crashed to the floor on top of him. Did he pay for it? Well that part of the story is even worse lol. I was in college and had friends over to my parents with whom I lived with then when they were gone for the weekend. My parents knew I was having friends over and we would be drinking, but obviously no one expected this. The worst part was breaking the news to my parents, but they ended up being chill and covered repair costs. Over the course of 3 days they drank 2 1L bottles of regular mead, 2L of the expensive stuff, 4 bottles of wine, a bottle of spiced rum, a flask of vodka, and a bottle of tequila. 3 days. JFC. I had to check twice. I was angry, but also morbidly fascinated that someone could do this to their body and still appear sober enough to not rouse any suspicions. Edits 1. L4 liter, not LT2. This one a single person, and he put most of the bottles back after he'd finished them. We had offered him some rum on the first evening and we watched him drink a tall glass of it like most would drink apple juice. The amount he drank would have lasted us a year or longer. I ran across someone like that. He seemed okay but quiet. After a couple of months we cross paths, and he is clever and outgoing. Next 6 weeks. Quiet, or, more accurately, drunk from morning until night. That falls into the category of I didn't know he was such a drunk, until I saw him sober one time. They invited another distant family member to our Christmas gift exchange. Then didn't plan to show up themselves. 1. We wouldn't have a gift for the person. 2. They had been specifically told that the parents in the group didn't want this person near their kids. 3. The person had pending charges for sexual assault of a minor. Duck that. I would say something. We did. Then we were cast as the assholes. He shat in the toilet when we didn't have any toilet paper in the bathroom. And he flushed a sock after using it. It ended up being like $800 in damage. This is the same ducker that vaped mercury on a dare. Was the mercury vape before or after the shitting incident? If it was before it might explain some things. It was after the sock incident. We were only 16 when he broke the toilet. But he was 25 when he vaped mercury. As you can imagine. He was dumb before. But he is beyond stupid now. I had a friend living with me for about a week while he was between places. I came home from work one day, went to the bathroom, and noticed he had used my razor. No big deal. When I was done up in the bathroom I went to the front room and noticed that he had not shaved his face. You can catch hepatitis from sharing razors. You can catch hands sharing razors. We were new lie what's and had just bought our first house. 
scraped for a down payment and just squeaked in. My cousin-in-law came over the day of the closing, and while looking at the backyard whips his dick out. I'm gonna cross 10 year fence. And sure enough starts pissing away. As I look away I lock eyes with my new neighbor who was coming over to say hello. Edit, a vowel. Good old cousin Eddie. Broke my brand new sink off the wall in the bathroom, because they couldn't resist having sex on it during a party. I like how your comment is. Currently. Directly beneath the comment about a couple breaking a toilet by having sex in a bathroom. I had Thanksgiving guests show up 3 hours early once. They complained that there was nothing for them to eat yet. Then when I served dinner they shoveled the food down quickly and left. They didn't even stay for dessert. They literally came just to eat. Not to enjoy your company. What jerks. My sister. Her marriage ended. Her husband went to jail. She lost her job. Her daughters went to live with our father. She stayed with him most of the time. But when she had business to take care of, legal and medical, she came down to my area and stayed with me. She paid zero money to sleep on my couch. Bitched and moaned in the mornings when I got up for work because I woke her up. She bitched and moaned when I told her to turn the sound down on the television because it was 2am and I needed to be up at 6am for work. She turned the volume up and the neighbors started to complain. She not only showed zero thanks for me letting her stay on my couch, but would take every chance she could to insult me and belittle me in my own home. Once, after the police knocked on the door to tell us to keep the television volume down because the neighbors complained, she told our parents that I'm such a terrible neighbor the cops get called on me all the time and that I yelled at her for no good reason at 2 in the morning because I'm an asshole. Eventually, I told her next time you have business to take care of, rent a hotel room. I'm not putting up with your shit anymore. Apostrophe. Jail sounds better than marriage with her. One of my cousins poured a full can of cola over my arcade stick controller for my genesis back in the day. I'm still salty about that one. Especially cause they made me lie to my parents and say it was an accident when I watched them do it from around the corner. My extended family was not allowed in the house ever again. I guess the adults had a thing too. No idea what, but I can imagine. You should reach out to your parents and ask. Update this thread later. Well, I haven't known where my father is for 15 years now, and I have gone no contact with my mother due to physical and emotional abuse. So, sorry, but an update isn't in the cards. From what I remember I think it had something to do with my paternal aunts being bitchy to my mother about her food. I remember it was Thanksgiving and my mother refused to ever cook for them again. So that makes sense for the timeline. But I'm not sure at all. My brother-in-law left a vial of PCP on the couch where any of my kids cold veasily picked it up. Then he had the audacity to ask my wife if we found it and told her he wanted it back. That sucks. In the same vein, my sister had been stealing my kids medicine to get high. She was emptying capsules and leaving them behind, so I was giving my kid empties sometimes, but sometimes full dose. For about a ducking year, I couldn't figure out why he was struggling. Then covered hit and she didn't have access to my house anymore because I'm always home. I feel you. My mother-in-law stole a month's worth of my wife's allergy meds on three separate occasions. Only reason we found out is because she got arrested not long after visiting us and the cops came to our house saying we sold her the pills and we could be charged with it. I was like. You'll honestly think we are selling pills to an own meth head and we'd be dumb enough to leave our address on the bottle? I know you don't have to be a genius to be a cop. But damn. The worst offenders in my friendship group are two who infamously overstay their welcome. They generally stay over when they come round, and if I didn't make an excuse about having to go out they'd probably stay until the next evening. I had a group like that. Three of them. They're harmless and well-meaning and I just smile and cheerfully tell them it's time for them to go. Nope. You can't hang while I sleep. Nope. I don't have anything pressing. I'm just done having company. See y'all next time. Once my friend stood up during a lull and said, Okay, it's friends go home time and drove us back. I actually really respected how upfront they were about being done. 
stole my jacket to walk home with because he was cold. Them denied ever taking it and threw it away to save face. Duck you. Dean. My EXS daughter did that to me. It was a really cool dressy jacket that she asked to borrow and I said no. Never saw it again and haven't been able to find one to replace it either. Tried to duck in my bedroom. Went back to my room for my smokes in the middle of our end of semester house party to find these two making out heavily on my bed. Partially undressed. I didn't know who they were and neither did anyone else at our party. So we kicked them the duck out. Lameo this reminds me of when I was hosting a party. Noticed a couple were missing and jokingly said I hope they weren't ducking in the house somewhere. They weren't. Dead serious. Two people said it was none of my business. And no one else really responded because we were all completely baffled. They weren't joking. They legitimately thought it was something I shouldn't care about. In my own house. Became an in-joke with a couple for the next few months when I told them about it and we'd keep saying things were none of your business whenever the clueless two were around. This was my most massive cock block ever. But damn it if anyone is having sex on my bed it's going to be me and not some randos we had no idea were even a part of our party. Not my home. But leaving trash in my car. I ducking hate it when people do that. Only my trash is allowed in my car. Don't add to it. My damn mailbox is at the end of my road. Where it's positioned it's easier to drive up to it leaving my place than when coming home. So I just grab it on the way into work. Sometimes the wad of Wednesday ads lives on the passenger floor till I feel like clearing it out. Not my house, but I had to throw someone out of a friend's house for pissing in the kitchen sink on the dirty, now dirtier, dishes. Excuse me but what the duck? Were they too lazy to walk to the bathroom? A former friend stole five from me. We were 13, and it was my weekly allowance. Someone at one of my birthday parties, I was maybe 7 or 8, stole all the cash I was gifted. We never found out who. This didn't happen to me, but to my uncle. They threw a party for his son, a kid, and someone stole their piggy bank. Don't know if they figured out who, but that was really shitty. Someone who I'm no longer friends with came into my house and randomly started going through my stuff just cause they were curious. They then proceeded to grab a snack in my kitchen without asking and just sat down casually eating and proceeded to look through my art with their dirty hands. This sounds like stuff my 5 year old might do. We're trying to civilize him a bit. I got a kick out of that last sentence. Lol. A friend was coming over and asked if he could bring a friend. I had never met that guy but said yes because I like to meet new people. Well they came over and we were just chilling. Drinking a few beers and we got to playing Tekken. I was facing new guy and when I beat his ass he got so mad he threw my playstation controller on the floor so ducking hard. It didn't break but I asked him to leave right away. What a nut job. I knew a guy like this in college. Any time he would lose at a game he would scream. Cry then disappear for a couple of hours. Guy was a nut. I used to own a Street Fighter second stand up arcade that I kept in my living room. One New Year's Eve I was having a party and a friend that I invited was telling her brother that she was going to my party. I knew him, but we weren't friend, but he decided to invite himself and a few of his friend, people that I didn't know, over to my house. When he showed up his sister, my invited friend, was surprised and told me that she didn't invite them. Since I knew the brother, I told him that he was responsible for his friends. If shit goes down, he goes down with it. His friends started playing the SF game and smoking cigarettes. I smoked at the time. I don't anymore. Thankfully. So that didn't bother me. One guy set his cigarette on the controller part on the arcade and forgets about it. Well. It melted the edge of the machine. I told the guy to pay attention and to put his cigarette out. He just looked at me, takes one last drag, and dropped it on the floor. Then rubbed it out on my carpet with his foot. I didn't even get a chance to say anything before about 3 to 4 of my friends grabbed him and dragged his ass out the front door. They laid him out pretty good. The best part was that another friend of mine was outside grilling and heavily drinking on the porch. The guy was dragged outside right behind where my friend was grilling. 
My friend turned around. Seen the dude getting his ass handed to him. Takes another drink off his beer. And went right back to grilling like this shit was an everyday thing. The brother gathered up his buddy and the rest of his friends and left. Never seen any of them again. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.